my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Today, you guys, oh my God, it was snowing this morning. Then the sun came out later on. Ayve, I digress. I have a haul that's been sitting here for almost a week. This is the haul that I did with when I went to Fayetteville to meet up with Mimi Sparkles. I hope you guys enjoyed those vlogs. Um, we had a wonderful time. I hope we'll get to do it again. Um, but this is stuff that's been sitting here almost a week. Today is Friday, okay? Tomorrow it will be a week since this stuff has been sitting here. So I said I gotta get this stuff hauled. But when I went down to Fayetteville, I found some really, really cute bags. I don't know if you guys can really, really get the texture of this. I wanna hold it up so you can see it. It's like silver, glittery, like New Year's silver that um, we would wear on New Year's, you know, and I just thought it was so beautiful and I just told the lady, bust the bag open and fill it up with the stuff. So, we are going to look through here and see some of the stuff because I don't even remember what I got, y'all. It's been that long. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? I swear I don't even have any idea what I have in here, but it seems like it's a lot of stuff. Me and Mimi, we spent some money down there in Fayetteville, but we had fun doing it, so I guess that's all that counts. Um, welcome back, all my beautiful, loyal subscribers. Thank you all so very, very much for coming back. I gotta look through this stuff myself, cause y'all, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I got. Let me put on my glasses. Forgive the nails. I just have on some of that Mega Grow, um, LA's Color Mega Grow polish that I got from the Dollar Tree. And y'all know, again, I don't really need this, but I like it for when I don't feel like putting any nail polish on my nails. So you can either do a top coat or you just use this as a top coat. And all it says is, LA Colors Mega Grow Nail Treatment Vitamins A and E for Maximum Growth Helps Protect Problem Nails. So the package looks like that if you guys ever look for it. And it's got that like pink tint to it. So it's really, really, um, really cute. Y'all know. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me say my camera and her wonkiness. I had to delete a whole segment that I have videoed with the tornado that hit us yesterday. Well, kind of hit us yesterday because the whole footage on my camera was blurry. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on one moment. Okay, let's hopefully, this will be a little bit better. Okay, so anywho, that was the nail polish that I got on my nails for right now and I'm just really not feeling like putting any more polish on. I love that green I had on, that was really nice. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of stuff here. Like I said before, I have forgotten everything that I had purchased. And it's been sitting here, like I said, almost a week. Tomorrow will be a week. I bought this little um, happy birthday canister. It just says gift box. I love these to put people's birthday gifts in, especially when I give candles and stuff like that. And I put one in my sister's birthday um, bag this, this year, and she really liked it. So I got another one just in case anybody's birthday is coming up. I can make gift baskets and put this in there. So I got that. And then, sorry y'all, everything's a mess. My life's a mess. No, <laughs> no it's not. <laughs> okay, and I bought this. It says petals dry erase dots i thought this was really really cute but i have a feeling i'm going to put it in some friend mail it says use on walls and other flat surfaces removable and repositionable and it looks like this and i thought they were so cute i'm like look at this i had never seen these they're called petals is that what it says petals yeah petals with a z and it looks like that. And it kind of looked like the dream catchers. I don't know. Very, very pretty. 
they look almost like they're they're faint but they had different designs and out of them this is the one that I chose so I got that and I have somebody in mind for that as always I do more shopping for y'all now than I do for my bag on sale I'm like what's happening here <laughs> what is happening here I got some really really uh, cute stuff for Easter they're coming out with so much um, you know Bible related scripture related and I had a subscriber who asked me if the Dollar Tree carried any um, biblical stuff and I told her they they do they usually do all year round but around this time of the year Easter man they go all out and I'm telling you they have plenty if you're looking for anything Bible related for the kids for the adults for yourself they have the prayer boxes they have the prayer cards they have um, some more stuff that I'm going to show you guys today it's really really awesome and again keep in mind I found all this stuff in two different Dollar Trees down in Fayetteville North Carolina they call it Fayetteville I don't live there so <laughs> okay but that's what I heard so I'm still in the back of my mind kind of planning on setting up my card table once I get my second um, shot for the COVID and I feel more confident about going out and being around more people. Um, wearing my mask always, no matter what. I wanted to get these garage sale labels. They're 360 in a pack and this is so I can, you know, price my product when I set up my table at the flea market on Saturdays. We only have it here on one of, I only go to one of them, okay? And they have it here on Saturdays in my town. So yeah, I was like, you know what? These are gonna make great little stickers for my products. So I got those, two packs of those. And again, they're by Jot and they're called garage sale labels and you get 360 pieces in the pack. I was like, ooh, that's pretty good. So, won't be running out of that in a while. And I showed you guys in a previous walkthrough that I found this fairy garden <laughs> boot house. <laughs> I love this. I truly, truly do. Where is my... Let me get something so y'all can see this. <laughs> I really, 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 really like this. This is so cute. This is the boot house. And I just thought it was so cute. In the video, I said I'd give y'all the boot. <laughs> this is so cute with the little chimney on it. And you can look, you can see the door. I hope you guys can see that. So cute. Had to have it. So I got that to add to my little fairy garden collection. I'm going overboard as always. <sighs> I digress. Y'all know how it is. So I decided at the end of whatever... To go out and get me one of the little fairy garden, um, what do they call this? Decor, where you put your little fairy, um, together. And I wanted the green one. I saw the round one without the green in it, because I wanted the lawn. And then I found this white one down in Fayetteville, in one of those Dollar Trees, and I love it. It's got the cute little flowers around it, and it's got the grass. Well, it looks like grass on the inside. So I was like, oh, this is going to be so cute once I set my little miniature figurines up in here. So, yeah, I got that. And I was very happy to find that. And let me sit that over the ball. And I'm going to be binge videotaping right now, guys, because I'm so behind. So you're probably going to see me in the same shirt looking the same way because, yeah. I just don't have time to keep changing. But anywho, I digress. <laughs> Mimi and I found, well, Mimi found the carrots, the steaks, the carrot steaks. And I was like, I hadn't seen them in any of my Dollar Trees. They must have sold out before I got there because I know we got them. But they had more, but I just wanted one. So I just got one of the little carrot steaks because I figure once I stop, um, I could put this out in the common area once my girlfriend and I uh, go out to decorate and I thought it would look really really pretty so it's just one of the steaks that you can either put in a potted plant or down into the lawn or something so and it's really well made it's metal so yeah I got a carrot steak 
had been looking for those. Not looking for them, but you know, sorry, y'all. Okay. And the next thing is, I got this magnet. <laughs> y'all know I am with these magnets. My refrigerator is completely covered with magnets, but I still love them. This one says, today has been canceled. Go back to bed. <laughs> yes. I love days like that. Today has been canceled. Go back to bed. So I got that one. Then I got the Super um, Crayola Washability You Can Trust. Super Tips Washable um, Markers. They say to draw thick and draw thin and draw thick. Washable Markers Bold in five colors. So I was like, okay, I'll give them a try. So you're supposed to be able to draw in a thin, thin way and in a thick way. So that's what that looks like. So I got those for a dollar. I didn't think that was too bad. And it's Crayola, brand name. And I was looking for the other um, little light that had the eyelashes. I know that's the first one that everybody buys. And so everywhere that I've gone, if I found them at all, all I found was a unicorn. And these have the, light, the lights in the back of them. So darling. But I really, 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 really wanted that eyelash one. And because my store is behind in getting the stuff, I'm hoping and praying that I'll still be able to find one. But I did grab the unicorn one in the moment, for the minute, because I just wanted one. They were so cute with the little lights in the back of them. I was like, oh, how cute. Did, 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 they just call them tabletop decor. Here I go with the stuttering again. <laughs> but I thought that was so cute. And make sure when you, if you find these at your store, make sure before you purchase them, you make sure the, your tab hasn't been pulled because I pulled my own tab. I have to say that for me, I'm not trying to tell y'all how to run your business, but I say that to remind myself because I've bought so many items from the DT that had the tags already pulled out of them. And when I got home, they didn't work. So I had to take them back. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> Just had to throw that in there. They had some different um, stylus pens and phone holders at the Dollar Tree in like so many different colors. And this was the one that I found down in Fayetteville. And then when I came home and I went to my own local Dollar Tree, they had plenty of them here. Well, they had just put them out. And they had one in purple. And I wanted to get it so bad, y'all. But I didn't. Because I'm like probably not even going to use these. But truth be told, <laughs> it's two packs, stylus pens. Okay. And they're holders. Okay. And they look like this. And it came in so many different multicolors. And if you see it, it's one is um, used as a stylus and one is used as a phone holder. So they look like that. And I thought for two, two for um, one, for one dollar, that wasn't bad. But like I said, more than likely I'm not even going to use those. Because I have stylus that came with my phone, you know, that are still sitting right over there. And I was on a hunt at that particular time at this store for the, um, I was still looking for the, the Trekkie socks and I guess this store didn't have it, but I did find some really cute pairs of socks that I'm probably just going to put in like, again, like I said, friend mail, but these are by Juncture and if you guys have noticed they are tagging almost everything in their store. Well, not almost everything, but a lot of the stuff now they're tagging with this juncture tag. I'm just sitting here going, what's going on? Are we not calling it um, Greenbrier anymore? Because the Greenbrier logo is still on it. But the Dollar Tree logo, I think this is going to be their new tag, juncture. Because I'm finding so many things with this tag on it. But I thought these socks are really cute. Shark socks for your man, your boo, you, yourself. I would wear these. And then I found these. These are all men's socks in um, sizes 6 to 12. And you got the beautiful, what is that? Toucan or whatever he's called. Very, very cute. Love him. So colorful. But I don't wear socks in the summertime. So these would definitely be for a gift. And then I found these where it's like 
game over with the remote control. I mean, not remote controls, the... Y'all know what they are, the game things that they play the games with. And they look so cute. And they say bonus, game over, all kinds of stuff like that when you're playing the video games. So I saw those and I got those three. And then I went over and I found this book. Oh, man, this book just, oh my God, it breathed life into me. It's just the graphics, the beautiful pictures inside. It's all I bought this book for, you guys. And it just says, ah, the beach, surf, sand, simplicity. And it looks like this. So cute. And I think I pulled the tag off by mistake. So, yeah, I don't know how much it re Oh, it retails for $12.95. And it just says, the sea speaks to us one wave at a time. With every step along a sunlit beach, our troubles melt away. And in this lovely book, each turn of the page reminds us of the beauty, serenity, and healing powers of the seaside. Lush photographs, yep, combined with liter literary insights emboldening you to follow the sun, fill the wind on your cheek, and breathe the salty air. And I'm telling y'all, it does. This book is so beautiful. I stood there looking through this book, and I was just like, oh my God, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Now, y'all know I'm two hours away from one beach and about maybe, th I think four hours away from Myrtle Beach. But these pictures are so gorgeous. I just absolutely, absolutely love them. The color of them just made my breath, it just kind of like took my breath away. It's a small book, but I can put it on my tabletop. So when people come in, they can just look through that book and get that sea vibe, you know? It's just so gorgeous. It's by Willow Creek Press. And yeah, they got the sun setting. Just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, for a dollar, I grabbed it. It was $13, $12.95 regularly priced. So yeah, for a dollar, I had to have it. And I was telling y'all about some of the Bible, scriptural based, um, things that they've been coming out with and I keep showing you guys because this is this really 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 makes me happy when I see stuff about God this is apply God's word to your life today the NLT Bible promise book for women and this one looks like this see diva grace I'm telling you girl they got this stuff God is our refuge and strength always ready to help in times of trouble Psalm 46 1 and y'all know my favorite, favorite verse is Psalm 4610. Ah, be still and know that I am God, okay? And this one is the NLT Bible Promise Book for Tough Times. Oh my God, don't we all need this? Don't we all have tough times from time to time? Now, I don't always thank God, you know, but they're so cute. You just put them in your purse and carry them with you just to keep them with you. And then the third one is the NLT Bible Promise Book for Men. And I just thought that was gorgeous. So I'm probably going to package up some stuff for my brother and my sister-in-law because I want to give her some of that um, Palmer's lip balm that I found. And I want to give my brother some of these socks. And I would love to put this in his little basket for him. You know, just to have with him or carry it along with him. And then the second thing I found, I was looking for the S. They have the initial um, Bible notes. And I could only find F and W. So I chose F for faith. Okay. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Psalm 119, um, 114. And these are just beautiful beautiful bible notes okay so i'm hoping you guys can see that isn't that gorgeous look at that and that is the letter f because they were rummaged through y'all <laughs> they had an f and a w that was it but i was happy to find them because they hadn't hit my dollar tree yet so and this one y'all i was searching all over the place looking for these inspirational journals and I found well I actually found three but if you watched me me Miss Sparkles hauls when she did her haul well she did it right away that girl's so quick 
I'm here taking it almost a week. I found two of them and they come in the plastic bag where well, they're supposed to be in the plastic. And they look like this. This one says, perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. Esther 414. And it just says, inspirational journal, 100 pages. So I found two of these. So I gave one to, I shared one with Mimi. Okay. And it looked like this. Just absolutely beautiful. Man, I was trying to get a whole lot of them so I could put it in friend mail and get, send you guys some. But this one was out of the plastic. And it's just gorgeous. I really don't know how many how many they had out because I haven't been able to find them anywhere. But this says Growing Grace, Second Peter 3.18. I believe I saw Anna from Only In My Dreams. I believe I saw her haul two or more. I'm not really sure because I forgot. But I think there might be at least four different ones out there. Uh, don't quote me on that. But anywho, I did find two and I was ecstatic. This one says Growing Grace, Second Peter 318. And look at those beautiful feathers. OMG. Okay. These are also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, these are by Crown Jewels. Okay, and so is the post-it, so is the um, post-it notes, the Bible notes. These are also by Crown Jewels, okay? So when you open this, you got where you can write to and from or just put your name there. And then you have some very faint lined um, pages with the scriptures on it. This is Growing Grace, Second Peter, but it has different... I thought it had different, um, it's very, the lines are very faint on some of them, and then the lines are more, um, present on others, on other pages. So, if you look in the front, you would see the lines are very faint there. I know you guys can't see it. And then, so, then you put back here and it says, stop doubting and believe, John 20, 21, where the lines are more, um, noticeable. And then you just go through it. It has pages that are blank with shadows on them. It's just really, really cute. That's why they call it a journal. Because you can write whatever in there you want to write in. Pages that look like this that are completely blank. But they have some pretty stuff on them. I just thought they were so gorgeous. And they're by Crown Jewels, which is Greenbrier product. It doesn't say how many sheets it is. But yeah, these are gorgeous, y'all. If you find them, oh my God, get them. If you don't want them for yourself, get them as gifts. Because Easter's right around the corner. And yeah, if you like writing in journals, you'll enjoy those immensely. All right, you guys, let me get the second part. I'll be right back.